What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Greek here, and today I want to introduce you all to Barry. Barry Allen. <laughs> Who is Barry Allen? Barry Allen is my new car. <laughs> uh, Barry is my brand new 2016 Subaru WRX. It's a premium edition, and uh, Barry is my baby. Barry is also the first uh, new car that I've ever owned, so that's also exciting. But um, if you look at him, you see that he's beautiful, because he, he is beautiful. But uh, anyways, um, he's a 2016 Subaru WRX Premium, Premium Edition, and uh, let's just run over some, some specs or some things you gotta know about Barry. Um, so obviously, first things first, he's red, comes into pure red, which is uh, which grew on me really quickly actually. I never had a red car before, so this is the first time I've ever had a red car and I actually really like it. So um, it's powered by a two liter uh, flat four uh, boxer engine, whichever one you want to call it, same thing really. It's turbocharged with a top mounted intercooler, um, pushing out 268 horsepower and about 258 uh, foot pounds of torque. And uh, for a car uh, in this price range, that's a good amount of power. Uh, basically, this car will keep up with a lot of cars that are double its price range, honestly. And um, yeah, so uh, it's also made into a six-speed manual transmission, which is really nice. It's also the first manual transmission car that I've ever owned. Uh, so <clears throat> I basically learned how to drive stick on this car, which was interesting to say the least. And uh, it's takes that power, puts them all to four wheels, which is gonna be awesome for the winter time because where I live in New York, we get really bad winters and uh, that's that's never never fun. So along the side, as you can see, it comes with 18 inch rims that are standard on the premium version. Uh, on the inside, it comes with uh, a navigation center, uh, an entertainment center, I'm sorry, that comes with navigation, uh, Sirius XM, has an upgraded stereo system also, which is really, 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 really loud. Uh, a lot louder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, and the inside is cloth. The interior is all cloth. Um, the dashboard is a lot of plastic and then it has some carbon fiber accents, which uh, just so you know, are real carbon fiber. Uh, you can actually, you can see the weave and it actually is real carbon fiber. I've actually seen it, um, you know, taken apart. Not in this one, but in a, a different Subaru. And it is actual real carbon fiber, so that's a nice little, nice little touch. So uh, it's the four-door version, which for me is not a problem because I actually do not like the wagon. I don't like the wagon at all, so I actually prefer four doors over a wagon. I don't know, I'm just not a wagon type guy. I'm a hatchback, I mean. Just not a hatchback type of person. So I got him with five miles on him. Uh, he was brand new, straight off the boat. The future of this car. Let's talk about the future of this car. So right now this car is bone stock, 100% bone stock. There's nothing added, nothing changed on here. That's it. Um, eventually I wanna start getting into, uh, I'm gonna think maybe like after the winter, um, start with some like simple modifications, maybe an exhaust, an intake. Um, I wanna get a short throw shifter on here also. Um, it's just small mods after that. Um, up like to that point. I want to talk to the dealership first and see what is um, doable and what's not doable. And then um, I would also like to do like a, uh, um, a cob tune on here with the access port so that way I can um, fix the rev hang and uh, probably lower down the boost on this car because stock, uh, this car does 22 PSI stock boost which is a lot um, and the compression ratio is really high too. Um, so doing a like a cob access port would fix that honestly it would definitely fix that we'll be able to lower the uh, the PSI down, down about 18 and also fix the rev hang which is one thing that this car suffers from um, basically rev hang is when you go to shift into another gear the revs don't come down as fast as they should so uh, you kind of have to wait to shift um, and with uh, the cob access port um, you can fix that. You can fix this that way the RPMs drop quickly and you have much smoother uh, shifts in between. 
So um, that's one thing that I also want to do to this car. But when it comes to cosmetic stuff, the only thing I'm going to really be doing in this car is getting the windows tinted. And uh, that's, that's really it. I don't plan on putting carbon fiber on here or anything like that because uh, it's too expensive, first of all. And um, doesn't really need it right now because, like I said, this thing's brand new. It's, it's only a month old. And I have 1,800 miles, uh, uh, almost 1,800 miles on it. So that's not that bad. But um, yeah, so like I said, this is the very first new car that I've ever owned straight off the lot. Every other car that I've had before was used. Uh, so this car is my baby and I absolutely love this car. And uh, I couldn't be happier uh, owning this car. So um, if you're a Subaru guy, you know what it's like, you know, to, to like if you're a car guy in general, getting a new car, you know the feeling about it. And I've been a Subaru fan for, for since like the year 2000 or 1999, the first time I ever saw one. I've been a Subaru fan, so um, getting this car was kind of just uh, like a like a, an oh wow moment for me. But uh, but yeah, so that's about it for Barry today. Um, I want to incorporate some driving vlogs on my channel. Uh, if that's something you guys want to see, let me know because I do have the equipment to do that. If you're interested in that, just uh, just write it down in the comments down below. And uh, if you're still watching this video, uh, let me know what your favorite car of all time is, what your dream car is. Um, and if you're not a car guy, then just let me know that you're not a car guy too. So, but anyways, YouTube, this is Barry. Barry, this is YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.